And that's only using a linear attack. A, a linear attack is basically one in which you've got one computer that's chugging through a key set trying to crack or violate a particular algorithm. But what if we use many computers? For example, the SETI project, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, has been running for many years, and their concept is to take a huge problem, subdivide it out, and then give a little piece of the issue or a little piece of the problem data set to an individual computer. So now there are thousands and thousands of desktops and laptops all over the world that are each working on their little piece of, this, of the problem to find a solution all at the same time the advantage of parallel processing. Now, we can do the same thing with cracking and attacking various cryptographic functions. Instead of looking at the entire key set, you can use a large number of machines to each look at a small piece of the key set and find a solution much, much quicker. It's possible to crack large algorithms with large key sets much faster than it ever has been in the past. So the moral of the story is, use the longest key that you possibly can. Use the strongest algorithm, because the bad guys are out there, and they're becoming more and more sophisticated.